very much, uh, Cahirlock, and uh, welcome to the vote of the witnesses. Uh, starting with the raising of the two invoices uh, in 2022 by the. Uh, by you, Mr. Kelly, uh, to the Barter Company and the report of Grant Thornton. Uh, the document states that uh, you said that you had spoken to the commercial director about year two of the five year contract, but she said that it was not her problem and you said that it was not yours either and that they should not have to come up with solutions. Why were you chasing um, money that for six appearances for which your agent had not yet completed the work? Because the Sorry, you prefer your client. Yeah. Um, the, the, the appearances, the, the shows, the, the late, late shows in, in dealerships were supposed to have happened in 2021, 22, 23, 24. Um, as I said, with COVID, the first that only happened. Okay, in, and, in, I, and, and I note that that is yeah, and, and I note that that is referred to I, I, in, in, in that, page five. But the reality is that there was 150,000 euro in transactions uh, credited eventually to uh, total yes. uh, for work that's not done. I know, but there's six. There, there are six events owed, and as Ryan already said. You know, we're still in contact. Okay. But if, well, I just, if, I, I, if they don't want that's okay. But well, I, I grew up in a world where you know you, you only uh, paid money for, for things that you actually received. So, f from your perspective, Ryan, did you not feel that it, you know, this, this didn't sit well that you paid 150,000 euros to your account for, for work that was not yet done? What, what sat with me, and the reason I can make this clear for you today, and the reason I wanted to be here for you today, is that I can say that there were six appearances outstanding, Senator, and I'm still ready, willing, and prepared to make those appearances and come good on the okay. on the. On the the okay, listening to the evidence uh, this morning, uh, Ryan, you and Mr. Kelly have sought to separate the two items of your contract with RTE for the Late Late Show and your morning show as, as a contract for those earnings. Mm -hmm. And then the tripartite deal, which uh, both yourself and Mr. Kelly have said contract for your services. Um, and that that's not linked to this basic pay. Is that, is that a fair assessment? Yes, yes, okay. Yes. Uh, and, and Ryan, you have said that uh, the difference is then perception, the perception of that income uh, from the, for the other job. But this goes to the heart of the matter. Well, reality. Well, well just, just, this goes to the heart of the matter, because earlier Mr. Kelly stated that the motivation uh, was one where RT were attempting to keep uh, the primary sponsor, Renault, to keep them on board, uh, keep them locked in. But RTE's take is much different on this because Mr Adrian Lynch stated in his evidence to this committee on June 28, and I quote, that in autumn 2019, negotiations were ongoing. The negotiations were obviously not going that well or whatever. And then this idea, the commercial deal was obviously generated, that there would be some brand extensions and there would be events, end quote. So from RTE's perspective, the negotiations, Ryan, and your pay were not going well. That's Mr. Adrian Lynch. He said they weren't going well, uh, well and that there was that, 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 that there was a problem. Uh, and I would ask you, were you refusing to sign that deal until the commercial aspect was uh, introduced into the negotiation? No, they, they, this, I immediately put that to the person doing all the negotiating. No, um, in the end of the 19 deal, again, if, if this was about trying to strong arm somebody, Ryan had taken a pay cut of. 525,000 for the next contract. Uh, so it wasn't about that. This, this initiative came from... But that goes back to what you said earlier. I th you keep referring to this, Mr. Kelly, as Ryan had uh, waived 120,000. He had taken half a million. Yeah. My perception is that you said, Ryan, enough was enough. He's taken enough pay cuts. And that, th as Mr. Lynch has said, there were issues here where we can't get the deal over the line. And this deal was stalled until this was introduced. That is clear from the negotiations. It's not true. But it's clear from the negotiations. It's a reality. Mr Lynch said the negotiations were stalled in autumn 2019 no. and that six days before Christmas uh, we have a situation where, where things are now moving again because of, the, because of the creation of the deal. No, this is an RT initiative. Yeah, I'm not buying that. For you. Everything today has been about RT and an RTE initiative. The, the, the reality is, and so let's, let's move to the emails from uh, Breed O'Keefe to yourself because... She talks about meeting you halfway and the fees and so forth, and that's point number one in the contract discussions. But point number two is quite clearly the €75,000 from a commercial relationship, where she says we have progressed discussions with a third party and look forward to discussing this with you in more detail next Tuesday. The commercial deal is central to everything. It wasn't going anywhere until this was on the page. Let me just, uh, go to page, 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 seven. page seven, contract discussions, item sure. two. 
that, um, sorry, that contract discussions, that the email uh, on page five came from uh, Miss O'Keefe. Yes. So, so, they're, so, they're, so they're setting out. They're setting out, but the they're point being out, that setting out the, Mr their, Lynch has said position. that negotiations were stalled. Ms O'Keefe is setting out the key components for um, agreeing this deal. She uses the phrase, we are keen to retain Ryan's services. This was a key point of negotiations, was this offer of the 75000 You keep referring to the basic pay. The basic pay is one thing. The deal wasn't happening without the 75000 And Ryan, you have said that, but I think in terms of perception, but we're dancing on the head of a pin here. It was still cumulatively paid to you, no matter what way it was then allocated into your accounts. It was part of the negotiation deal for you to sign the contract. Do you accept that? That's not what I'm... No, well, not, I, I, hang on a second. In terms of... It, it's, on the, it's on the document. It says, in terms of them trying to negotiate and progress the negotiations. Point two, we are progressing the discussions with a third party. We're offering the €75,000 to you. Mm. What the sorry. So are you accepting that that was a key component of making sure that you signed the contract? You signed the contract. Yes. Was it a key component to making sure that you, this deal got over the line was the 75,000 no, euro? That's not my no, understanding of no. it at all. So, okay, so... The, the, what? The, so the, the, con the contract, the, this, deal, the deal with RTE was for radio and TV services. Yeah. For, for 38 late late shows of two hours, 205 radio shows, that's what the contract with RTE was. And RTE then... I'm assuming to keep the sponsor wanted Ryan. No, to but that's do not what RT are saying. RT are saying that the negotiations were stalled and that when this emanated, when they brought this on, did this help the negotiation process? No, and you're it's, arguing it's a totally separate. It's a totally separate agreement. I, I, well, again, you say it's a totally separate agreement, but it's all as part it, it, of the discussion. Sorry, if I, could, I could bring it to page 14, please. Um, from the solicitor's office, I attach for your attention the draft contract and the two side letters discussed and agreed in relation to this matter. The sponsorship agreement will be handled by our commercial team and will be agreed separately to these documents. Yeah. It's a separate agreement. Well, it's I don't. It's, 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 I know you're categorising it as a separate agreement, but ultimately it's a cumulative pay. That's from and it was put, from and it was put on the table to make sure that there was a signature on the table. What other deals were on the table, Ryan, at Christmas 2019? Were there offers from News Talk or Virgin or BBC that your agent was also? saying that this was, this was possibly that you could look at as I, well. I, I never negotiate, Senator. You can ask no question. He negotiates. Uh, no, no, you okay. have to ask no, that, the man who no, negotiates. No, that's fine. That's Please. fine. But I tell you, my experience in, in past as being sure. a sports journalist is that uh, from agents is that football agents would have agents that negotiate with clubs. Don't tell me that they don't know what's being uh, put into their contract or wh what club they would go to. And similarly, the same applies to you in terms of whether stations were vying for you. Yes. The man was not not talking to you. Yes. Were, there, were there a scenario where in Christmas 2019 News Talk or Virgin or BBC were looking for you. Uh, no, 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 no. She, he he would have told you. Sorry, did, did he? I, I, I'm the one who, who negotiates the. Deal. I know, and he's the man that would eventually be put on the show. So exactly, it's a fair question. The, I, well, no, excuse I, me. It's, a, it's fair to put to him. Uh, yeah, what, what, had, had your agent informed you, Mr. Toberty? Had your agent informed you of any potential offices from other uh, parties in the media sphere? Yeah. Not that I'm aware of at this point. Not that you're aware of, Mr. Kelly. Were there? No. No, no, so you no. weren't throwing that into the equation. No. Okay, I can't. So I, 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 I'm, not a, I'm not a sports agent. <clears throat> I'm not a sports agent. And I can understand why a football team would be going with Man United or Aston Villa. completely understand that. Yeah. Castle, okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll move on. Um, of the, no, there was the, not. The no, details no, of the contract. No, and uh, Brian loves RT. Brian wants to stay in RT. This was, if, if Brian wanted okay. to leave Okay, I'm just, I'm just finding it hard because thing. Ryan said this morning at PAC that, you know, he does his job, No, Kelly does his sure. job. I'm just still figuring that, you know, you still read the agreement when, when you sign it um, because you know looking at this Ryan over the time since you've worked with the Late Late Show I think I've worked it out roughly that you've, that you've earned 8 million uh, euro from your time as working on the Late Late Show and what wonders to me is why in God's name then we were chasing uh, these speaking gigs for 75,000 euro uh, as part of the deal to get it over the line we weren't and this was this was an initiative from RTE. Yes, yeah, but, but why? Why was there a need for RTE You'd to throw it on the RTE table? No, but why? To keep the I mean, were you sitting board? there going, Ryan, look, they're coming with 75 grand. They're, com they're coming with 75 grand extra. You keep saying that it's RTE that were coming with this and you weren't going looking for it. But I'm finding that struggling hard to believe that when Adrian Lynch said negotiations were stalled, Senator, here they came answer, with a bounty. Can I answer the question? Yeah, okay. can, I answer, answer the question. can I answer the question? Yeah. It's very simple. RTE came to us with this initiative. I can only assume that they wanted to keep one of their biggest sponsors on board. And, and have, you, I, sorry, can yeah. I please finish the question? You can. I, I, 
keep Ryan Chubbity on board, keeping Ryan Chubbity on board for another five years would equate to keeping a sponsor on. Now Ryan Chubbity has finished the Late Late Show, maybe it'll be the same sponsor, maybe another sponsor, but that's all. I'm okay. not a sports agent. We don't That's fine, and, that's, and that is your narrative, and, and you've I'm held sorry, the line. Sorry, Senator. I would, only, I would only look at if somebody wanted to move, if they were unhappy in the scenario that they were actually in, and that's all. Okay, well that's fine, and you've held that narrative, and you've, you've held that line all day. What I'm saying is that Adrian Lynch said the negotiations were stalled, and that when this was put on the, on the table, that this progressed things on. And you know, Minister, and, I, and I'm going to put this to you, Ryan, respectively, because in here, ministers blaming officials and turning to their officials doesn't wash it, because the book stops with them, and they resign if there's a cock-up. Fintan O'Toole in the Irish Times last week described Mr Kelly not as your father confessor but your attack dog and that it was the conscience of the client as to whether the dog was called off. So why did you look for that last pound of flesh when you were being paid a basic of €440,000 for these um, add-ons to make sure that the contract was signed? I'm not a Senator, we're, we're, we're not responsible for Fintan O'Toole's commentary. And I'm asking in terms of why was it necessary for the add-ons regardless of the basic pay was €440,000 not enough? You've already explained that. No, you've, you know, I'm asking Mr. Tubby directly, and I'm entitled to ask the man okay, himself who is question. being paid. Uh, there's been a lot of latitude, Chairman, with the height of respect. I'm asking you respectfully, was €440,000 not enough? Did you not say to, to uh, Mr. Kelly, I don't need the extra 75000 That's €175,000. Uh, uh, €160 on the licence fee. To use your own analogy. 469 licence. 3000 is days. To, 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 use, to, voice, to, to use your own analogy. Would a footballer expect a decent fee for playing for his club? And would the footballer have his agent negotiate a decent fee to play for his club? And somebody who was a sports journalist, as you've claimed, and I presume it's true, uh, that has to be taken into consideration. So with that in mind, this man negotiates my salary situation, my contract situation. He is, as he said before, he, he, he minds my business and he minds, he minds me too. He's, he's a good person. He, he, so, he, struck, he has struck a good deal. But what I'm, what so, I'm struggling so that's, with that's today... What I'm trying to say. So, <laughs> you know, you talk about our narrative, their narrative. Yeah. But this is not our story. This is our in truth. In 30 seconds, Senator Castles, to wrap up, in 30 seconds. It, no, it, it, quite frankly, now, I mean, it is a narrative because it is putting forward uh, one scenario and I'm, I'm putting contention to you that there was a stalling in the contract. This was the sweetener to make sure that this contract was signed and it got it over the deal. I mean, you have said in your second statement going back to the 23rd of June when you apologised and said you should have asked questions. Mm. I mean, if there is a scenario where um, th that you believe that the money in terms of uh, Renault was still coming from Renault and not to RTE, why were you, what were you apologising for? Well, no, I was apologising for, for figures that were printed situation. incorrectly. Yeah, from the, from the 2017 18 19. Okay, uh, and we will have to conclude there. Senator. We will Thank have you. Senator Cassis. Thank